Hi and welcome to my online flight details or online flight information. Um, I've just finished designing this and here I have a first class economy, third class. So if you enter number of tickets, let's say we have five first class, maybe three economy and third class if we have seven of those. So we're talking in total that's 15. So that means we need to get 15 insurance for these guys and uh, let's say their luggage they also have 15 so we include tax and you just need to find the details and that's what you get uh, cost of uh, cost of flight here I've also incorporated uh, a calculator I've actually developed this calculator and uh, have a copy of it on YouTube all I just did was copy and paste it in there if you notice this uh, backspace icon there so this is how it works so see the backspace there so you can multiply it the whole idea is just to use this calculator to check the cost of each flight and so on okay and here I have a receipt that's the receipt right there and that's all there is to it and here you can enter comments so um, like something like uh, insurance okay you can say just say equals yes just say yes right there and so on whatever you want to enter in their luggage okay you can say luggage secured the fact about this tutorial is if I decide to start a, a new copy of this very tutorial it's going to take a long time so what I've just decided to do is to show you each line of code that I've uh, that I used to develop the system so let's I'm just going to close this let's go into the design okay here we have the design so it is very object right there that's just a group group box and that's checkbox checkbox and another checkbox right there okay that's just labels and here I have text box okay and the same thing was repeated here I have my insurance and so on there okay you can see how I've designed everything okay and here I have my output the three output there the tax right there and here I have uh, a tab tab control actually but within the tab control I just copy and paste my calculator I have the copy of the calculator here, right here simple calculator that I developed uh, this actually on YouTube so I just copy and paste that in there and uh, maybe I should show you the code for the calculator so if I click in here here are the codes for the calculator and I just copy the codes because I've already done this on YouTube anyway so we'll have another look at the codes right there okay this is for my all of the buttons and this is for the backspace and here that's just to clear the calculator here that is uh, for the decimal numbers of decimal points sorry and right here that's the operators and here I have all the equals calculations right here so all I did was just to copy it if you go inside my calculator program here you see exactly the same thing it's now different okay that's the right here operator equals okay and right here decimal point okay I'm not going to confuse you guys this is just to save the text so let me just show you the rest of the calculator that's it right there the operator clear and that's the back uh, backspace okay and here I have the buttons the buttons are actually inside there the, the whole of the buttons are grouped as an event okay well just to clarify how to group uh, buttons as events here I selected all of these buttons there's it right there and uh, I click on this very icon here the event that's it right there 
and that is the name of the button you can call it whatever you like but that's what I call my button so it's called button click and if I double click that is what you get those are the events okay all right now up here I declared the variable for the calculators and I also declared the variable for my flight system right there those are the variables that I use first class economy third class ins travel insurance cost of luggage and uh, tax and here are my local variables that I used in here okay let me take you back back to the system so you see right here where I have the cost of the flights if I click in there that is the cost of the flight right here that's where all of the calculations take place so have a good look at it here are the local variables scroll down that's the checkbox for first class economy and the third class and here if you enter a value that is not number you will get a message so if it's number okay the following takes place okay there they are and right here have please select an option let's say you enter maybe a character that is not a number you see please select an option and uh, or if you leave the, the checks empty or unchecked you see please select an option and that's all there is to it so let me just scroll down that is for the insurance and here for luggage okay let's move down a little bit more and here as we had formatted the whole codes to, uh, to show the cost in a uh, using a unit which in this case is pounds okay if we, if we move down again I have another variable right here look a variable for my receipt there they are those are the receipt so if you actually want if you're interested in this I can always forward the code to you and here that is the codes that I use to append all of the information onto the receipt that's it right there and here it is just a, a little function for the for the tax right there and the rest of the codes is just for calculator but well, there's one more code I need to show you and that is the save right here if I double click on that this is the code or well, these are the codes for just to save the text the data inside the text these are the code for it so if I run the program again let's run it again select and uh, maybe enter 7 there enter whatever we like in here and here now uh, maybe nobody for third class nobody is booking flight for third class so we have about 12 um, sorry 10 right there and in total we have about 12 luggage okay with tax click and that's what you get that's all you those are the information for the customer right here so you can always save it straight into the database right here and give it a name just save it let's say I call it flight one save it on the desktop save and that's it saved it so I can always open it on the desktop if I come in here let's go to my desktop look for flight one yeah, there it is Those, that's the information for flight one that's the whole idea of the save right there so close this so that's all there is to this very program if you are interested in this very program I can always forward the codes to you just send me an email and I'll forward it to you but there's one more thing you can always enter a comment right there whatever comment you want just add it right there okay it's all for commenting all right 
so I can clear that and I can use my reset to clear the whole system there's one more thing right here that is not cleared so let's just take care of that now okay let's take care of this data in here so that we can clear it double click on the reset and uh, bring it right down in here okay those are the information right there just enter play repeat the same thing here there and uh, repeat exactly the same thing just to play that system okay let's go back now run the program one more time i'm going to make one or two mistakes just take that off i will not enter any value in there so click on uh, cost of the fly that's what we get please select an, op an option okay and also i also need to enter insurance and luggage so okay we'll select an option there and let's say seven here and uh, maybe another seven here so in total we have about 18 insurance to be purchased 20 20 luggages in total so we now need to recalculate and that's what we get so if we include tax notice this uh, the output here include tax and that's it that's the tax for all of these flight so it's a bit too much i need to reduce that okay so let's test the reset button right now so if we click on reset and that's it everything is working as expected so with that i'm just going to call it the end of this program I I hope you all enjoy it and if you have any need for the codes just let me know I'll forward the codes to you have a nice day